Yo, what the fuck is up everybody? Me Shoes here, back with another video, and today it's a little bit special. First off, new tattoo that I got while I was in Hawaii. Let me give y'all a little close up. Uh, it's starting to peel a little bit right now because it's in the healing process, but after this, man, it's gonna look amazing. It goes all the way up on the inner arm a little bit, right around the corner. Oh geez, definitely no. I know I got Adidas on today. You guys know how big of a Nike head and a Jordan 1 fan I am based upon the background that you're looking at right now. And I got the Jordan wall because it's a little bit of a special day. We're not doing an unboxing over there. We got an unboxing right here in front of me. And I did actually want to ask you guys a question because I was wondering if you guys just like seeing the actual review of the shoe because when i want to look up a shoe i want to look up you know on feed stuff like that specifically and so when i watch an unboxing i want to ask you guys basically do you look for that first impression everybody's first impression of a shoe is specific to them solely because you know it's it's them unboxing the shoe it's their first impressions it's not necessarily your first impressions i i love capturing that moment and and um reminding yourself of what it felt like when you first saw these shoes in person. Today's a very special day because I'm actually unboxing the first pair of uh, authentic off-white sneakers. And I say authentic because I, like I said, a huge fan of the Jordan 1s. I actually got burned on a pair in the past. It was actually cool because I was able to keep the shoe and I'm gonna be using that for a custom base in the short future, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get into these off-white sneakers. I do want to give a huge shout out to Dom. You actually scooped these for retail and you hooked me up with a solid price. This was a pretty nice pickup and I'm super excited to get these in hand. So let's get straight into it. As soon as you open it up, you see that right there. That's always nice. Got the receipt. Paper. Whoa. All right, let's get this focused in. So here we have it, the Grim Reapers. If you guys know, this is half of the Spooky Pack. The other pair was a yellow, I already forgot the name of it. It was the yellow pair, but had that really, really bright orange swoosh and the teal laces. This is the all black pair, also known as the Grim Reapers. And I, I really, really like it. There's a lot of detail that you normally don't see like the black on black shoelace text you know you don't normally see that in jordan one releases this nike air tag is going to be a little bit different than the original release even the text on the medial side is a little bit more visible than the original pair that had released this is just all around a beautiful shoe i do have uh, i do have plans for this in the near future real quick let's show the other one with the zip tie there it is seriously a beautiful shoe there's a bunch of little hints that i you know you never know that would be there. This is actually suede on the medial side and then it transitions to leather. The suede all, goes all the way up on the laces though. You also have suede on the back heel here. But I like that leather on the medial side and then you get that mesh material on the outside. Which if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it was like sample pairs of this. I, I saw in some pictures a reflection in the back, sort of like a 3M. So I'm not sure if these are if these are different or maybe the light isn't just hitting it in the right areas. But I could have sworn that I saw 3M on the inside of this mesh over here. But that's totally okay. It's still an amazing shoe. You got the all black right there on the outsole. Uh, the extra laces with this one are white with orange text on it. Now the plan for these right here. I'm actually going to list these for sale because there is a pair of Jordan 1s that are dropping actually very soon and I want to be able to just, you know, make sure that I, I lock that pair down as quick as possible and I'll probably have these for trade or for sale around the time that those drop once we see some numbers and resale value actually come in so without further ado we're gonna get to some close-ups of this shoe here no on feet do stay tuned for another video that's actually dropping a little bit later today that's why i'm wearing the adidas t-shirt without further ado make shoes out Squat! 